Puma Sway 305, blah, 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 and I am back. <laughs> um, hey guys, it's been a little bit, but like I said, I wanted to wait for this shoe, so I got it yesterday. I was supposed to shoot the video yesterday, but of course I am definitely trash. I just kind of want to just go to sleep and eat, so <laughs> we're here today with this beautiful shoe, um, Puma News. Uh, Puma news. We got a couple shoes coming out. Um, my my personal Puma news. Puma news. Move. Um, I'm not getting every shoe. Like I already been saying that I'm not getting every shoe. I'm not trying to like. Um, I used to kind of just get shoes just because I felt it was content for the channel. But I'm not doing that shit no more. Like the the shoe that's coming out tomorrow. What well, twelve o'clock tonight? is the R in RIP and dip uh Puma suede it's like a sky blue has like a cat on it and all that type of shit I'm not getting that shoe cuz that shoe is like it's just not my style as far as I love the colorway the sky blue and white is definitely dope I love the colorway and I need that color shoe still I don't have that color so kind of hurt me a little bit but the thing about that shoe is it's just it's it's I guess it's the cats that's on it <laughs> I'm more of a dog person, you know, shout out to the Cleveland Browns dog pound. But um, I just don't like the cats that are on it. It's kind of like too kitty for me. For me, I don't know. It might be for somebody else. It is, like I said, it's still a pretty nice shoe. I just don't like the cats that are on it. So I'm going to have to uh, turn this one down, guys. Um, it's still at a decent price point. It's at $85. Looks like a really dope shoe. Maybe one of you guys or somebody else will uh, get it and do a video or kind of like post it online so I can see it better. But as of right now, I'm gonna turn that one down. It's a couple other shoes that um that are out here that I could go get, but I'm kind of just wait. I'm just not like I said. I'm not getting everything like how I used to. As far as just kind of bring y'all a shoe like every like I have and like I said, I still have shoes that I've gotten throughout the weeks that I haven't even had time to um really do videos on. So I got a couple shoes down here that I need to do uh, videos on still. So we'll try to knock those out of the way too. And um. Other Puma news, we have a subscriber, a new subscriber. I think his name is WJ Le Le Levin or Levine. <laughs> Sorry if I fucked up your name, man. But he did something that I need more people to do. He asked something to the comments. And he is, his question was, um, which do I prefer, like the classic suede or like um, the Clydes? Um, I guess it all depends because it's like... Uh, it all depends on the, the the shoe and then how it looks when they come out like um i can't really go off of this one yet like this is more basic okay, let me that shoe is everywhere mm, i don't want to do that one i've already done that mm, oh. mm, let me see if i can find a shoe real quick to kind of i got plenty of shoes down here just gotta find the right one okay we'll go with this one We'll go with like this shoe. I've shown this shoe on the, the the channel before. This to me was a really dope. All of these were really really dope. So, like this would be one that I liked as far as that were um the like the kind of the classic Puma, just different colorways and design and shit, but still like kind of the classic like silhouette, I guess, classic. And then the Clydes. Uh, let's see if I have one that's not too far. Okay, we got one right here. Hopefully it's not the one that I haven't put on my... Oh, it is. I haven't done a video on this shoe yet, but we'll still just check it over. And this shoe is really, really dope, but it's basic. This is the Clyde. So, like I said, like I guess it all depends on the shoe. Like, I haven't even... Majority, like, 90% of these shoes haven't been worn yet. Probably 95. But uh, this is definitely one that I definitely like a lot. It's just basic, straight to the point. You can, like... You can like you got this with the right like a lot of these shoes you don't even have to have the right outfit the shoe just kind of speak for itself and it's just like a grown like a grown nice type of shoe i think i believe but like i said it, it all depends on the shoe um i think as far as i can't even say wearing because they both fit about the same they both kind of uh I think maybe the Clydes might be a little bit more narrow, narrower, if that's a word, if you have kind of fat feet. But other than that, I think they, they're both dope, man. It's all, it's all, I guess it's all in what you prefer. I, I like both of them. So uh, hopefully that answered your question. Today we have the Slum Village Kitties 
Um, let's, let's get this name right. This is the Sway VTG District Life SV Slum Village. And this shoe, it's uh, the only thing I like about this shoe is a uh, you know, Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, yellow and black. <laughs> Anything yellow and black, I am not fucking with. So I don't know what to tell you guys, but I. I we gonna look this shoe over. I still like this shoe though, and I I definitely like that they get they're giving certain people shoes like especially like Slum Village. You, you almost kind of forget about them sometimes, but this is definitely dope. It's almost like looks like almost like a spider web almost on this uh, the tongue. Then it has Slum Village inside, Slum Village on the side. It has like the logo that kind of matches the box. Then it has like the little thing right here. I don't know what the hell that thing is called. I see that everywhere though. Then the shoestrings also match the box. I like this shoe. Uh, I think it's just something different. But I like that they got a shoe. Because like I said, you almost forget about them. And it's a group from the Midwest. so And, th and, th and that's another thing you almost get lost in that too. Because I think in that era, like a lot of people were... Um, it's not like they were trying to, but like the new york kind of sound had a bigger influence which definitely wasn't a bad thing as far as the old like the older rap as far as being a little bit more lyrical and like a little bit more um like uh like the content was uh was definitely there as far as like the lyrics and the stuff that they were talking about too so they're definitely a dope group glad that they got a shoe um worldly news we got uh <laughs> we got my people down to alabama man rumbling on the uh the boat and shit and all that so <laughs> I, um when i first saw the video i really didn't know um it's just kind of like everything was happening it happened fast and i i still really don't understand it, it, it doesn't even really seem like the um the person that was kind of like man in the dock it doesn't seem like his tone was too harsh on them to try to get them to move because if it was me, I told them, we had to move that motherfucking boat. Like, y'all got to move out the way. Like, they, they would have had a reason to punch me. <laughs> they, they didn't really seem like they had a reason. And then if they had to punch me, look, man, I wouldn't have needed no help. They ass would have got whooped. But, but <laughs> that's, 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 that's a different uh, different story. Glad it wasn't me, man. But uh, like I said, um, like his tone didn't seem too harsh to where it's like it, it calls for you to put your hand. Because once you put your hands on somebody... You open it up for them. You, you 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 can't hit somebody or do something to somebody and then try to regulate how they try to uh, um, defend themselves or if other people decide to defend them. And that was the case. Like I think if it would have been a one on one fight, them two, it would have just been like, oh, okay, he whooped old school or old school got over on him. But once it gets to like y'all like all hitting him, and then the, the lady came and got her kick in the head. And like they was really trying to like max him out down there on them docks. That's when you 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 get my man like Aquaman swimming. You got <laughs> you got people coming from everywhere. The person that seemed like they had the most even head was the bigger guy. Uh, the black dude came down. I think he had on like a Michigan shirt, <laughs> looking like a big ass offensive lineman. But he was just kind of kind of trying to like he was really not trying to hit nobody. He was just basically saying, "Yo." get off of them you don't need to like do all it it don't have to go this far but it's like they wasn't trying to listen because i don't know what they thought like i guess they thought nobody else was going to try to help that old guy and then once all hell broke loose it kind of just it just kind of went all bad and then it kind of went real bad once it got to like uh the, the second part of the video when people was getting hit with chair hit the lady in the head with the chair old school i don't know where he found that he got he he, he brought that from like the rock and all them man like uh stone cold used to hit hit people with them damn chairs and shit he went and find one of them wwf chairs but um uh, i don't know man it just looked it just looked real bad and uh i know now they're they're uh i, I guess it's kind of like going into like a real race type of thing now too to where who knows what happened down there next time if you get into some shit like that. So uh, hopefully, you know, it was a fight. Let, let's just kind of keep it like that to where it don't it don't lead to no no other type of stupid shit. I'm glad people on social media just kind of just making a joke of it because that's all it was. Really was just a fight. But uh, shout out to those people. You can hear my daughter upstairs going crazy. <laughs> um, uh, that's pretty much it. I want to make the, the videos kind of longer today. But, you know, we had a couple questions to be answered. But, um... I think we are one subscriber away from the giveaway, so we need one more person to get to 100. And then once we hit 100, I'll find out how I'm going to do the giveaway. That should be within, like, once we hit 100, we'll have a 
video hey we hit 100 and then the next video we'll find out how we're going to do the giveaway and then we'll take it from there but like i said this is puma suave 305 like share and subscribe we only need one more subscriber but we don't care if you like share or subscribe peace